The full outer join returns records that includes rows from both left and right tables. When no matching rows exist for the row in the left table, the columns of the right table will have nulls. Similarly, when no matching rows exist for the row in the right table, the columns of the left table will have nulls. When we join two tables, records fall into three unique record sets. For example, let us join projects and members. Suppose each member is assigned only one project and each project has zero or more members. The first record set contains only records that are returned by inner join. When you join projects and members, the query will return projects which have members. The second set contains only those records in the left table that do not have matching records in the right table which are returned by left outer join. In this case, projects which do not have any members, the ERP implementation and mobile sales platform. The last set of records is the set of records in the right table that do not have matching records in the left table which are returned by right outer join. In this case, members who have not been assigned any projects, Laura Parker and Jason Harris. A full outer join would return a record set that contains all records from these three sets. Access does not explicitly support full outer joins, but you can achieve the same effect by using a union query. Create a query that has a left outer join on the field that you want to use for a full outer join. In the Create tab, click on Query Design. Add Projects and Members tables. Add the fields Project Name and Member Name. The Join field will be Project ID from both tables. Right click on the Join line and select Join Properties. Select the second option to create a left outer join and click on OK. On the Home tab in the Views group, click on View and then click on SQL View. Copy the SQL code. Delete the semicolon at the end of From clause and then press Enter. Type Union and then press Enter. Do not use the ALL keyword when you use a union query to perform a full outer join. Paste the SQL code that you copied. In the code that you pasted, change left join to right join. In the query design tab, in the results group, click on run. The result set will contain all the projects which have members, projects which do not have members, and members who have no projects assigned. You can also use union all. The difference between union and union all is that union all will not eliminate duplicate rows. It just pulls all rows from all tables fitting your query specifics and combines them. So when we use union all, we must use a where clause to eliminate duplicates. Delete the semicolon at the end of the second from clause and then press enter. Add a where clause that specifies the value of the join field as null in the first table in the from clause, the left table that is projects. Type a semicolon at the end of the WHERE clause to indicate the end of the union query. Run the query, we will get the same records. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.